friends, I hope you're having a great day. I've got Barrett and Nora here with me, and we'll see how much of this we can get through without being too distracted. But today I wanted to share with you just what I feed them on hiking and backpacking trips. So in the description will be a link to the blog post that goes along with this video on my website, as well as links to the dog food that I talk about here today, and even more information about it. So calories, prices, things like that will also be included in that blog post if you want even more information, more than just me showing you the food and you know, anecdotally describing my experience with it. So please check out that post for even more information, as well as, like I said, links to the dog food I talk about here today. Nothing sponsored, everything, just my genuine opinion from my own experience uh, with my dogs. So both at home and when hiking, they eat twice a day, breakfast and dinner. Of course, when we're hiking, they need a little bit of extra food, a little more calories to help them get through the day. So they do have snack time when we're hiking, about the same time I stop to take my snack breaks. But what they predominantly eat is instinct raw freeze-dried meals. And these are little freeze-dried meal pellets. They come in a variety of flavors. This one I think is beef. They also have chicken. Nora's favorite is lamb. She goes nuts for this. It looks all the same to me and smells all the same to me, but she is extra excited when I pack this on our trips. So maybe it tastes different to dogs, but these are really, really lightweight. And what I will do is I will put like a scoop of their regular kibble just so that I'm not putting them on a completely new diet and upsetting their stomachs. I'll put a little bit of their regular kibble at the bottom of a quart size bag and then I'll put two or three scoops of the instinct raw freeze-dried food in there with it and then I will add hot water to it and a little bit of cold water. Usually it works out that I have a little bit of water left in my pot when uh, boiling it for my own meal, whether that's breakfast or dinner. And so I top off the rest of it with cool water from my water bottle that's been filtered, whatever. And uh, then by the time I have finished rehydrating and eating my food, their food has been rehydrated and is now cool enough for them to eat. So that routine kind of works out really well. And this is what they eat for dinner most nights. And I've kind of learned over time how much is too much because it's been pretty annoying when they won't finish it because they're full and then I have to pack out in my trash bag the rehydrated food because they will not, they will not finish it. So I've kind of learned this is exactly the right amount for a dinner portion for them. And you can pick this up at pretty much all pet stores that I've been to carry it. Petco, PetSmart, uh, you can get it on Amazon. Every six months I do get the largest size sent to me through like subscribe and save, but you can pick them up in a variety of sizes like the smaller one at your pet store. Petco does not, but I believe PetSmart is the one that carries these little single serve kind of sample packs of it. And what's great about these is if you don't know if your dog's even gonna like it, you can buy a couple of these and the different flavors, test it out, see if your dog likes it, how their stomach reacts to it, and not invest in the whole big bag and then have just this food if it doesn't work out that you have nothing to do with. I like, oh, you, you, you are absolutely rude. You are the rudest little lady. You have no manners. So like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Another good thing about these sample packs is, yes, you can kind of try it out, see if your dog likes it, how their stomach reacts, all of that. But I like carrying one or two of these in my pack uh, as just an emergency meal. So if we are on the trail a little bit longer than expected our last day, or if the dogs are extra hungry from a particularly strenuous hike, I can give them something else, a little bit something extra, like an emergency meal that I carry with me that weighs 
nearly nothing. In addition to the instinct raw meals, freeze-dried food, I also started giving them the Akana, Akana, I don't know, uh, Akana's freeze-dried patties. They love this for breakfast, and I can show you one of them. That bag is empty. They finished that off real quick. Uh, they're about this size, so it's a freeze-dried patty, and they love these. They'll eat about three of these for breakfast. And they really don't eat as much uh, at breakfast time as they do at dinner, so barely ever do I waste food when it comes to this. I do believe that Akana, Akana does have their own version of the freeze-dried pellets, sort of like how Instinct does. We haven't tried that yet, but I know for a fact that they love these patties that also come in a variety of flavors. Uh, this is the duck. There's chicken over here. I'm pretty sure they have beef, but a lot to choose from. And this is another one I've probably said a million times. The dogs really love it. They get very excited when they see me, you know, adding water to it in the morning and then they just wolf it down and then we're ready to hit the trail, which is great. That's exactly what I'm looking for when I'm picking out, you know, things to add into their diet that are going to give them energy and keep them going throughout our adventures. So we've talked about what they eat for dinner and breakfast. Now I want to share just a couple examples of what they have for lunch or snack break in the middle of the day. Because they save a good amount of weight in the saddlebags when I go with that freeze dried food option, there's room to put little heavier items in there. So I'll typically give them a package of chicken or salmon or tuna and put one in each saddlebag, especially if it's like a three day trip. They've got two lunches there. In addition to giving them one of these little packets, sometimes I'll make them their own doggy trail mix just in a small snack or sandwich size bag. They can't eat my trail mix because it has raisins and chocolate and all of that in it. So from time to time, I'll make them their own doggy safe trail mix with, you know, unsalted peanuts or Cheerios, things like that that are okay for them to eat. And it gives them something to <laughs> kind of snack on and get them out of my face long enough for me to take my own lunch break and eat my food without them begging and all of that. Uh, so that's just one example of something that I will do. I'll also pack out their regular treats in a little snack size bag and keep that on hand. The last thing I'll share in terms of lunch or snacks is Instinct makes these packages and they have the same flavors as their freeze dried food. So there's the beef, there's chicken and lamb, and these are a little bit um, smaller, the packaging is a little less bulky than the package of chicken, and this is three ounces, whereas this is like 2.6, 2.5 ounces. So you are getting a little bit more in this package, but you're also paying a little bit more. The single packages at my Petco were $1.99 for the single package, and then the variety pack it was still like 190 something per package when I did the math. Whereas if you want to just save some money and keep it simple, these are like a dollar and some change. I want to say like a dollar 20. I'm probably off. They're no longer a dollar with how expensive food is nowadays. I know at least that when I go to the grocery store, these were a dollar and now I'm paying more for them. In conclusion, that's what Barrett and Nora eat on backpacking trips. And I've chosen these foods as our kind of go-to for a variety of reasons. Obviously nutrition, I wanna make sure that they're getting a good amount of protein and fat as we're hiking the trails and they're burning energy and burning calories to make sure that nutritionally they're taken care of. But also I wanna make sure that they enjoy their food. And I know I've said that a dozen times already, but I've seen when they are not excited about the food I've packed for them and it's just a chore to get them to eat. So I wanna make sure that they're excited about it. They're excited to, you know, get what they need nutritionally at the end of a tough hiking day and be just really excited about what it is that has been packed for them. I hope that this was helpful. 
obviously every dog is different every dog has different needs nutritionally but i just wanted to share what my german shepherds eat in the hopes that it'll give you some ideas for what to pack for your own dog if you're thinking about taking them on backpacking adventures with you something i forgot to mention that we have not tried yet well they have not tried yet but i intend to take on our next couple of trips is the honest kitchen I've got their beef and oat recipe, and it's kind of like clean eating doggy food, and it's in these little kibble pellets that aren't freeze dried, but they're a little bit, <laughs> I think she likes it, they're a little bit lighter than their regular dog kibble, and they have very similar ingredients. Their kibble at home has probiotics, so does this. And uh, overall, the ingredient list looks pretty clean. It says that they use human grade uh, protein instead of just like meals, like uh, beef meal or chicken meal. Uh, Barrett likes it too. And so this is a little bit lighter, but not as light as the um, freeze dried, obviously. And we'll give that a try and see if they like that uh, for future trips. And I'll let you know what the final review or verdict is on it after a couple times taking it out with us. Can you say goodbye? No, you just want more, more kibble? Okay, get out of my face with your odie beefy breath. Tracing my footsteps through the wind Back to a place where I could begin Maybe you just don't go hiking. No, that's not an option.